Music, poetry, literature and art. It's the stuff that makes humans unique. Or is it? Staff at a university in New Hampshire, USA don't think so and they've offered their students $5,000 to prove it. Dartmouth College have put out a call for algorithms capable of creating human quality stories, sonnets and dance music sets. The work of the robots will then be pitted against the work of human beings and the judges will not know which is which. The goal? To determine whether people can distinguish between the two and whether they might even prefer the computer-generated content. Of course, the question of whether robots can express human-like creativity is not a new one. This experiment is the modern-day equivalent of something called the Turing Test, named after British computer scientist Alan Turing. Yes, that's the one Benedict Cumberbatch played in the imitation game. The test requires that humans cannot distinguish between a computer-based conversation with another human and a robot. It was only passed last year when a programme managed to convince people it was a teenage boy. But now scientists like those at Dartmouth are going further in attempting to prove that robots can not only hold a conversation, but can beat us at our own games as well, and it's already happening. In what some see as a worrying sign of things to come, the world's biggest news-gathering organisation, the Associated Press, published a story written completely by computers for the first time earlier this year. So you heard it here first. The robots are officially taking over.